Hey everybody, Ed here with the Digital Digest and today I wanted to give you guys a quick update on the Motorola Zoom because it did receive an over-the-air update yesterday to version 3.0.1, the first update to the Honeycomb operating system. If you didn't get that over-the-air update, go ahead and take a look at my description below because there is a link on how to manually install that. Essentially the update is preparing the device for the Adobe Flash 10.2 plugin which will be officially launched on March 18th through the marketplace. So this was all, you know, pretty big news for the tablet in one day. By the way, that plugin is going to be available for all Android devices. So big piece of news, but more importantly, uh, the plugin actually leaked last night. So I wanted to show you guys some actual performance. Uh, by the way, in the description, you'll also find a link to the uh, plugin, the APK. You can just install it, download it, and install it right from your Zoom. And uh, it may not work on the first time I had, you know, the first time I tried it, it bugged out a little bit, but the second time uh, there was no issue. So let me show you guys some flash playback. Occasions as well as my apps so that you can go into, you know, anything that's backed up through Google, um, you know, through your headset or any other tablet you may have already. Uh, other applications that are noteworthy, I mean, here you can see I've got a simple wi uh, widget for favorite places. A different bookmark so I could go ahead and jump to CNN. Get rid of that keyboard there. That is the stock honeycomb keyboard. As you can see, it loaded up pretty quickly. Touch screen works really well. Pinch to zoom also. So I think you guys get the idea. The Flash plugin is working really well. Uh, and, you know, whether or not this will be the official build that we'll actually see on March 18th is uh, to be determined. But this does provide, in my opinion, uh, especially among the devices that I've previously uh, reviewed the best flash experience to date and it should being that it is the flagship uh, Android tablet um, so you know basically really impressed so far with the performance like what I'm seeing uh, can't really tell you guys anything else about the update in terms of how it's affected battery life uh, you know performance again 20% increase in benchmark but We'll see what that really means long term to the tablet. Also want to point out that the tablet did uh, get USB host support. This does not come from Motorola or Google. Uh, it comes from a user. I'm also going to provide the link, so take a look at the description for that as well. Essentially what USB host will allow you to do is hook up thumb drives and some hard drives, uh, you know, external portable drives that are, uh, you know, self-powered through the Zoom. Of course, you know, that will be um, you know, kind of restrained in terms of how many devices will be supported because it'll depend on how much power they require since the Zoom will be actually powering them. Anyway, all really exciting uh, things for the Motorola Zoom and part of what I love about the Android experience and especially uh, the one that's happening here which is stock honeycomb and so far really a pleasure to deal with. Any questions or comments please feel free to post them and of course as usual please feel free to subscribe. Later!